The speed of the arms is really critical to swimming fast, but not every swimmer like you has the ability to move their arms very fast. So sometimes we have a hard time getting them to get away from this, where they're trying to milk every inch of power out of each pull into a very fluid, fast movement of their arms. And one of the ways we do that effectively is by doing dolphin kick with the backstroke. So we call it the dolphin kick backstroke, but you're gonna stay in sync with your legs. One kick, one pull. But it forces you into a fast stroke rate. So let's try it, see how you do. But I wanna keep those arms moving quickly, okay? Of the 10 most important things we teach our backstrokers at the race club camps, stroke rate or tempo is number one, two, and three in importance. In other words, it has the highest priority. All backstrokes should be shoulder driven, meaning that the stroke rate is either fast or faster, with most of the body rotation occurring at the shoulder rather than at the hips. For some reason, many race club campers have a tough time moving their arms quickly in backstroke. One of the best drills we have to teach them how to do this is the dolphin kick backstroke drill, where one arm stroke is taken with each dolphin kick. World champion Junya Koga demonstrates how to do this drill, synchronizing his kick with each pull, yet getting a lot of great body rotation. In order to keep up with the dolphin kicks, his arms must begin each pull immediately after his hands enter the water, and they must get through the pulling and recovery phases quickly in time for the next kick. With this drill, swimmers that have never been able to turn their arms over fast enough suddenly find a new way of swimming backstroke with much more speed.